this is the real fun bit. This is where the, uh, the real hard bit comes in. Hard bit in the sense that it's very easy to do, but hard in the sense that you are now producing wonderful quality alcohol. So, we've got the wash, we've done our, our 25 litres, which are in the bucket here. That's lovely and clear. We've got 14% alcohol in there. We use the triple distilled yeast with turbo carbon and turbo clear. So the wash that's in there now is about to go into the still. We're going to do the, uh, the air still to, to, as, as a first off so that you can see how simple it can be. So, in our air still, we've got two compartments. We've got the bottom chamber and the lid. The lid has a nice easy seal mechanism that works and inside is a coil, a condensing coil, which has a fan that you can probably just see through the top of the lid. So the idea is that we put four litres of our 14% alcohol and if you can see there's a slight indentation just on the inside of the container. I don't know if you've got that but there, just there. You'll be able to see it in the flesh anyway. So what we do is we take 4 litres of our 14% alcohol, put it in there, up to the indentation, and put the lid on. Once we're in position, we're ready to go, we can then switch the machine on. And you can hear the fans going on the top. The fan which is the important part for cooling. So, okay, so what we're going to do, is we're actually going to do it now. We're going to take some of our clear wash, This is going to go into the still. Just need a touch more to top it up to the 4 litre mark. That's perfect, absolutely perfect. Now, because we sometimes have a problem with the uh, uh, the small air still. When I say a problem, what can happen is we can get a build up of bubbles on the base of the uh, still. Those bubbles, when they form together, almost create like a little explosion. You've probably seen it with uh, milk on your stove. So to prevent this from happening, we have what's called some ceramic boil enhancers. These are ceramic beads and literally we just put those into the still. We can also and again, we strongly recommend this. Add a cupful of distillers, sorry, a capful of distillers conditioning. Distillers conditioning comes in a small bottle, and all we literally do is open it, pour a cap full of that, and add it to the wash. And that again helps to prevent anti-foaming and this surge boiling. So the lid will go back on. We're now set up and we switch the machine on. And as you can hear, the fan is now going. The machine will take approximately one hour for the liquid to come up to temperature. When I say come up to temperature, this machine has been specially set so that at 78 to 82 degrees, it will give off the vapors, the alcoholic vapors, which come off before boiling, those vapours will then go into the fan unit and as the fan starts to chill, it will then turn back into water. Now that is an hour after we've started and it will start to drip through this little black funnel at the end. We've now got two options, the two machines on the market. Both do the same job but have slightly different collection systems, so I will run through both. The first one is this jug, and the jug has a little filtration unit, and in the filtration unit is a carbon tea bag sachet. That carbon tea bag sachet needs to be activated by running it under hot water. What we're doing by activating carbon is we're removing the air. The air gets in the pores of the carbon, and then the alcohol will not run through that particular carbon. So that's why we need to activate it with hot water. So that will slit, sit in place, that goes underneath there, and after the hour, 
the alcohol will drip through the carbon tea bag into the container. The problem with this one is that you're running at 60%. And at 60% alcohol, the alcohol doesn't get sufficiently effectively treated through the carbon. It's much better if it's at 40%. So although this is more convenient, you do have the offset that you might sacrifice just a tad on quality. What I tend to do is I mark the container at about 800 mils because after it starts to drip through the carbon filter we need to let the machine run for a further hour. That extra hour will allow us to collect 800 mils of alcohol. Now that alcohol will be at 60%. So the first hour the machine heats up, the second hour we collect. So two hours from start to finish, give or take a few minutes. When we've collected 800 mils, we can then switch the machine off and we have our alcohol at 60%. All we then need to do is dilute that alcohol 50% with water. So our 800 mils at 60% will become 1200 mils at 40%. And the 40% alcohol we can then add our flavourings to, which we'll talk about in a short while. The other system is the still spirit system, which is a great look system. With this, we have two options. We can either take the alcohol at 60%, let it run through into this collecting chamber, and at the bottom of the collecting chamber is the carbon cartridge. So that carbon cartridge, again, needs to be activated with hot water. Some people actually find that they work better if they're soaked overnight um, because the time it seems to take to run through can vary from, from cartridge to cartridge. So we can run the alcohol directly through the carbon cartridge and into the bottom container. Or alternatively, we can collect the alcohol at 60% and we can collect 800 mils. So collecting in exactly the same way as we would for this, the machine is switched on for the first hour. At the end of the first hour, it will start to drip through the black nozzle into the collecting chamber. At the end of the second hour, we've got approximately 800 mils of 60% alcohol. All we have to do is take that alcohol, dilute it 50% with water, so again, our 800 mils will become 1200 mils. We're now at 40%. Carbon likes dealing with alcohol under 50%. So, we simply pour that into the top of here, that sits in place, and we let it run through. It might take a few hours for that to happen. Once it's in the bottom of the container and it's been collected, we can then treat the alcohol and use that alcohol to make our flavourings. So either way, either system, both great, both work well, and, um, <clears throat> and we can then use that alcohol to make the flavouring. So that's the basic principle of the small air still. It's a great system. What we always like to say as well to people is your alcohol that's in the bucket, you've got approximately 25 litres when we started. So from the 25 litres, we've lost a litre when we did the racking or the siphoning off the sediment and we've now got our clear alcohol. With that clear alcohol, we've got 24 litres. 24 litres We've got four litres at a time in the still. We should get six passes through the still of the alcohol. So if we think that each pass we're going to run through on the still will produce 800 mils at 60% or 1200 mils at 40%, we have six passes. We're going to get six times 1.2 litres of 40% alcohol. That's roughly 7.2 litres of 40% alcohol. So that's going to produce you 10 bottles of alcohol. So for an initial investment on the machine, you can see it's not going to take you very long before you get a good return. So the cost of your alcohol is six bags of sugar, your triple distilled, yeast, your turbo carbon, and your turbo clear. So those three items plus your bags of sugar, it's working out at about 65 to 80p depending on the cost of your sugar for a litre of alcohol. As I say it's not going to take you long before you get your money back. So the two hours so just about finished and we've actually collected here 
the 800 mils of alcohol. I switch the machine off. This is now at 60% this alcohol. How do we know? Well, we have what's called a spirit hydrometer. A spirit hydrometer, very similar to a standard hydrometer. And it, we have a scale of 100 down to 0. It's particularly accurate between 100 and about 40, 35, something like that. So we can just literally drop that in the alcohol and it will tell us exactly what the alcohol strength is. So it's a great piece of equipment, absolutely essential if you are making any alcoholic drinks. The one thing you don't want to do is to have it too strong. If it's too strong, it's just a nightmare. So we've got 60% alcohol here. I've got 400 mils of water here that I'm going to add to it to reduce it down to 40%. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix it, make sure it's well mixed. There we go. I've got my carbon cartridge which I've soaked, giving it a good soaking so that that's all ready to go. That's going to slot in place there. And all I'm going to do is pour the alcohol into this container. And it just holds it perfectly. So I'm going to leave that until it's finished and run through the carbon cartridge. It could take anything up to, well, to be honest, it doesn't matter how long it takes. It's alcohol at, six, at 40%, so it's not going to pick up any infections. Yeah, if you want to just put a cloth over the top so that no flies can get in or anything like that, totally understand. So we'll leave that in place and uh, we'll actually show you how one of the super reflux.